Hi, we're going to look at creating a, a glossary activity in Moodle uh, 2.2. So we click, we're in edit mode, we click add activity and glossary. So we're going to call this uh, sample glossary. Okay, so this is a case where uh, we're going to engage the students in uh, creating and helping to create a course glossary. Um, uh, which obviously is just like a dictionary uh, for the course. Um, entry show per page, we can change this, right? Um, is this glossary global? Um, so this is a good question. Global glossary has entries which are linked to from the throughout the site rather than only in the course of glossaries and only administrators can set a glossary as global. So we are not administrators or we should not be administrators so we can't set this. Um, glossary type, let's look at the secondary glossary. Okay, so if this is the main glossary of the course, I don't suggest that, but if this is the only glossary that you're going to be making, um, then that's fine. So what you could do is set up a main glossary as, as part of your, your primary part of your course, and then throughout the course you could create secondary glossaries that are then feed into the main glossary, and that would be fine. Um, so in this case, since this is our first glossary, uh, we're going to make this the main glossary for our course. Um, Duplicate entries allowed, we're going to say no. Allow comments on entries, we're also going to say no. We could say yes. And allow print view, yes. Automatically link glossary entries. This is a really great feature. So uh, automatically link glossary, glossary entries means that if I put something into my glossary and then that same word appears inside of a lesson, that it's automatically linked. And so the, the students, as they, as they go through the lesson, can read the glossary. Uh, um, entry for any word that's that, that is common to both the glossary and the lesson. This can become problematic in cases where the um, the style of the links makes reading difficult. So let me give you an example. If you had a if you had a sentence that contained five words, all of which were in the glossary in a ten word sentence, you'd get a situation where the where the color of the words went from say black to blue to black to blue or even worse let's say the link color was red on your site from black to red to black to red to black to red it would create a situation where it would be very hard to comprehend the sentence because of the way the words have been formatted in the sentence so you have to kind of take this on a site by site basis best case scenario is that it can be automatically linked and that the students are able to easily both read the content of the lesson and get help from the glossary when they need it Okay, approved by default, yes, simple dictionary style. Um, this is another uh, situation where you're going to need to try to understand the, the, the available things. Um, I would say just keep it as a simple dictionary style is the best. So uh, show alpha, alphabet, yes. Uh, show, show, show all link, uh, I would say yes. Edit always, put no. For the edit always, um, it's, it says... Uh, whether the students can go back in and always edit their own um, entries. So we want to leave that as no. Currently, it's, it's if it's no, it's a 30-minute time limit. Okay, so we want to have grading. Uh, we want to categorize it if you're using the Moodle gradebook, of course. Uh, the ratings, we're going to leave ratings turned off, but this is so that you can actually rate the entries. Uh, it's kind of a nice feature if you want to do that. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and click Save and Display. Okay, so now we, this is what we have here. So we have a new, uh, this is our glossary. Okay, so these would be the instructions that I put in uh, for the students. So let's say because this is an activity, you know, maybe that they're required to, to put in five entries or ten entries or something like that by a particular date, right? Uh, so if we want to go ahead and add a new entry, uh, let's say that. Um, Interesting. Let's say that my um, my entry into the glossary is going to be um, authoring. Okay, the act of creating an a course in Moodle. Okay, so I'm just making up a definition here. So authoring, let's call this course authoring. Let's 
call it Moodle course authoring, the act of creating an academic course in Moodle. Okay, so keywords, we're going to say uh, authoring. Okay, attachment, we're going to have no attachment that we could. This entry should be automatically linked. Okay, so we say it should or it shouldn't. This entry is case sensitive. So if we click the case sensitive, that means that if, for example, I capitalized each of these words that I misspelled here. So if you say it's case sensitive only when, so if you say it's case sensitive only the Moodle course authoring when the M, C, and A are all capitalized, that is the only time it would match. Uh, and in, in our case, we don't want it to be case sensitive. So uh, match whole words only. Um, this is a case where, uh, so if you have construct and constructivism, this is the sample they give, uh, you wouldn't want the word construct to match the word constructivism, right? So basically, you're saying that match whole words only means that if you check that, uh, you'd have to have a space after the last letter in the word in order to match it, not, a, not an additional letter. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. Okay, so we have Moodle course authoring. clicked on M and now we have it back under M. Okay, so that is creating a glossary. I hope it helps.